From the moment he walked in the door of City Hall on his first school day as the first African-American mayor of San Francisco, Willie Brown started suggesting changes. There's no way for anybody to give anybody directions or what have you. Brown enjoys giving direction, enjoys being in charge, but even for the city's new mayor, this was to be a day of frustration. This physical environment has to be altered, and it has to be altered quickly. It is not a place in which you want to invite anybody. It's not a place in which you want to want to work. I have not been able to hire one person to do anything. And it is bizarre, absolutely bizarre, that I could walk in as the new mayor and not be able to hire a soul until all of the people on the Jordan payroll or some of the people on the Jordan payroll have exhausted their benefits. Those people could be gone three or four weeks, and I would have to use volunteers to perform services for the city and county of San Francisco. So there's something wrong with the system. And that was just the beginning of a very long day, a day that started the previous morning because there'd been very little sleep in between. For Brown, winning hard campaigns was a way of life, but this one was different. It wasn't just another lap in a marathon he's been running most of his life. He came to this job determined to leave his signature on the way the city is run and who would wield power, a goal that is bound to ruffle feathers. I believe everything and anything can be done. It is just a matter of my and your finding the way in which to do it. We celebrate our unity in the midst of diversity we celebrate the election of this man from Mineola, Texas. Who's the new mayor of San Francisco? Brown! Maybe that's why he held back little in savoring his victory on Inaugural Day. Inaugural Day was a historic day in many ways, and memories of it were his only source of joy. The sun has come out for Willie Brown. I had fun yeah. uh, about the sun that shown just as I arrived on the stage uh, and through the fog of the day yesterday. I had fun with the uh, rec rec reflecting upon uh, the Bill Clinton uh, telephone call. May. It's the White House calling you. <laughs> this is Willie Brown. They put me on hold. <laughs> what nerve. <laughs> Mr. President. Mayor, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you, Mr. President? I'm great. And you should be here with us. It is just incredible. There's no snow and no Republicans. <laughs> I'd love to be there with you and out of this snow and uh, out of these budget negotiations. <laughs> Let me say that, uh, that all of us in America honor you today for the tenacity, the determination, the, the never surrender attitude that have served you and the people of California well for three decades now. As you hold the office of mayor of San Francisco. I do. I have said there shall be diversity in this administration. I've also promised you that I would move quickly on the issue of public safety and restore your confidence in the police department of this city. And to that end, I intend to ask Deputy Chief Fred Lau to be my chief of police. I am asking Bob Dimmons to assume the responsibility to be the fire chief of the city and county of San Francisco. And that the message was going forward to the members of the rank and file. You too can start as an ordinary patrol person and overcome the most incredible hurdles in order to gain the ultimate spot. I also wanted uh, history to record that the diversity that we have in San Francisco can reflect itself in the top, top, top leadership categories. 
and it'll take me a little bit longer, but I can almost guarantee you that I will reform the system in this city. I had fun uh, amusing about the uh, conducting of the symphony and what symbolically that uh, is being interpreted to mean. What did surprise me were the more than 10,000 people that actually showed up to watch the swearing in and to witness the swearing in and to see the number of people of color and to see the number of school children. That mass of humanity for me was the ultimate tribute because it wasn't because you offered free food. It wasn't because Santana was playing. It wasn't because Huey Lewis was playing. It wasn't because there was any significant major national figure participating. They were there to see me and to witness me sworn in. And that was the triumph for me of 31 years of doing what I do. Thank <laughs> you.